Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we're gonna have a look at this box or the product inside of this box from Dell. And as you saw on the video title, the model name of this monitor is P2424HT. And there's a little monitor picture, I guess, very small icon. And other than that, there's not much to it on the box that's more descriptive. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this conspicuous box. So as always, we've got warranty and the quick start guide. It is quite useful if you're setting up the monitor for the first time. And I guess I'll kind of spill the beans here, but this monitor is slightly different to the usual monitor that I'm used to. So let's see its trick up its sleeve. And this is a base of the monitor arm and it is quite heavy for good reason kind of giving a good base for the monitor itself otherwise it'll wobble around but it's got this knob here that you're gonna have to tighten later on let me just put it down and then there are cables here power cable USB type C to C cable USB type A to C cable and then display port so no HDMI port present but I'm gonna utilize this USB type C to C cable later on to connect onto my laptop, which is the easiest way to connect it up. But keep in mind that you've got to still power the monitor with the power cable and the data can transfer between USB type C to type A port onto the monitor and display port to display port if you're on sort of a desktop or if you have laptops that doesn't support display over USB type C port then you've got to make sure these combination having two cables connected to the monitor be sure of that otherwise you can just utilize single cable which will be quite useful just for staying out of hassle of connecting multiple cables a bit more tidy setup I'm not going to use these two Therefore, I'm going to put it right back in. And here is the, I thought this would be the arm, but this is a, some sort of plastic plate that goes on the monitor. And that's pretty much it on this upper compartment. And then we've got the monitor arm. And notice the sort of different looking shape of the monitor arm. It's got this elbow here and then the head. So we're gonna mount this onto the base. No, maybe the other way. Yep, like this. And then make sure the screw at the bottom is tightened all the way. Okay, that's tight. And notice how this can allow you to swivel up and down quite easily and left and right panning. And this is quite important because the monitor that we're about to check out has some features that normal monitors don't have and in terms of getting the panel out there is a bit of a diagram here that shows you how to take it out basically leave it in the box take the arm up and use it to pry it out of the box so just kind of peel away the monitor wrapping here and make sure to just line this one up and it'll just kind of click in and once that is clicked in you can lift it up As you can see, there is a power port, HDMI, display port, USB type C, as well as USB type A port, and then the headphone jack, as well as the ethernet port and another USB type A port. And as per the diagram, you can just connect the cables in and just kind of route it through this grommet here. And there's the navigation knob here, as well as the power button, along with a couple of ports on the side, actually. So here's USB type C port along with USB type A. So I'm gonna connect this cable up and you wanna utilize the USB type C port that's up here. And on here, it does denote that it does have 90 watts of power delivery. So that should be able to charge my laptop as well. So that's what you wanna do as far as the laptop setup. But for desktop setup, you wanna connect the USB type C to type A port and connect the type A port onto your desktop and also connect the display port. Have it through this grommet here and then into the grommet that's up here as well. And then the power cable, same thing through the big grommet down here and then one up here as well to the monitor itself. 
and then put the plastic cover on. And cable management on this monitor is a bit more essential because you're gonna be expected to move this arm around quite a bit. And the reason for that is, as you probably already know, that this monitor is a touch screen. So I'll connect the power. And then here is the laptop that I'm gonna connect to. USB Type-C port connects to it. And I can already see the laptop is telling me that it is being charged. So the 90 watts of power delivery is charging this laptop as well. Be sure to check what's the minimum power range for your laptop for it to be charged. But since it is 90 watt, there's a good chance that your laptop is also going to be charged. First of all, I want to make sure the resolution is set correctly. This monitor is 16 by 9 ratio. So I want to make sure I set up the correct type of resolution 1920 by 1080 so i am duplicating the screen right now as you can see i can touch the screen to navigate so i can close that up and as you can see you can touch the monitor i can go to note taking so you can certainly write on the monitor and if you want to take a screenshot of your device and make some annotation then you can snip it like an area like so and then take this image and then you can start to make annotation on here so make sure that is taken out and such You could lower the angle quite a bit so that it rests on the tabletop, the bottom edge, and there are rubber feet for it. And you can just do touch input there quite comfortably. And there are more menus that are available to you. So I'm going to increase the brightness bit so that you could see a bit better. And there are different color modes as well. Right now it's set as a standard, but you can set it to movie, game, warm, cool, custom color and such. You can do a bit more warm tone if you would like to have that. And I'm going to go back and there is an audio setup as well. So you can set up the volume because it had a headphone jack, firmware, and you can reset all the menus here if you would like to. So I'm going to go back out and I'm going to go to YouTube and play some 4K videos. And I don't think this monitor has a speaker, so it won't be able to play the sound, but you can have the sound being played via the headphone jack that's connected to it. And I'm going to set things to 1080p because this monitor is 1080p monitor, but this is looking quite nice actually. How about some birds? And I like the fact that the monitor is not glossy. It is matte screen. So even if you touch on it, it doesn't leave as much fingerprints around. And that is much more preferable than glossy screens where you end up leaving finger grease everywhere. So yeah, nice touch, pun intended. So let's go ahead and check out the specs of this monitor as well. So this is Dell 24 Touch USB Type-C hub monitor so it does have the hub capabilities charging your laptop and being able to connect to different type of peripherals through its side as well as on the back there was another usb type c port as well as two other three other usb type a ports you'll be able to connect your peripherals such as mouse keyboard speakers and such and it is flat screen full hd this one is 24 inch as stated and the refresh rate is 60 hertz it is a full hd 1080p i would prefer it to be maybe 22 or 23 inches probably at 22 inches because the pixel density you're seeing this monitor much up close therefore you want it to be a lot dense in terms of pixel density however they resorted to 24 inches i guess i'll take whatever i can in terms of the monitor adjustment you saw that it can go up and down tilt quite easily but the panel is ips again matte screen i really like that aspect currently it is running for 415 dollars 
it can be on further sale but the msrp is 520 dollars which is not cheap at all but for a touch screen it adds a huge amount of value because you'll be able to have this as your presentation screen you can do the swipe and pinch to zoom type of things so that is going to be quite useful again doing this demo is a lot easier because i'm not using a mouse i'm using fingers to kind of navigate through enjoy clear audio and virtually edge to edge view three-sided ultra thin bezel with a top firing three watt speaker built into it i did not realize that so let me go actually test that out oh the speaker was off so let me go ahead and turn it back on there you go so there is a volume. So there is a built-in speaker that is top firing up here. So if you want to use that speaker on the monitor, you can certainly do so. Quite nice. And it does have 99% of sRGB color gamut. And it does have 93 pixels per inch and five millisecond response time and it does have anti-glare 3h hard coding on the screen which i'm not sure what it means exactly but it does have quite a matte screen which i like and it does have 300 nits of brightness and the most notable feature is obviously the touch screen so as an architectural designer you may be talking about a number of things that are on a drawing that are not really labeled so makes the communication very complicated and cumbersome so what we can do here is we can look at the drawing like this and have an email about a question on a column or the room you make a quick snippet like so and then here I can highlight this column here, column A, column B, and we can talk about perhaps an opportunity to make this into a bigger room, encompassing the two columns so that this becomes a completely new room. And now we can just copy this and paste onto an email so that we make the communication quite easy. Quick snippet, quick annotation, and send away the image instead of saying this column that kind of column it makes it all complicated so yeah that was quickly checking out this dell 24 inch touch monitor p2424 ht it's got this swivel arm and that is really easy to navigate with as well as the touch capabilities quite neat it's going to come in quite handy if you're the type of person who needs a lot of presentation as well as finger annotation or finger note taking type of thing if you have found this content useful please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye <music>